Welcome back to uh, Money Monday edition of Liquid Lunch. I'm John Tobacco. Uh, the markets continue uh, to head in the uh, northerly direction. Dow Jones today up about 250 points on uh, increased uh, happiness in the markets that there may be a trade deal after all. Hoping the president doesn't tweet his way out of this one. But uh, right now, the market looking good. Uh, Bitcoin as well is up about uh, 250 points at 10,300. And uh, with the Dow approaching 26,000, I think we're in good shape to start off this week and one of the last weeks of summer in September, uh, at least one of the last weeks of August. And uh, September should bring a lot of investors and money managers back from the Hamptons. We'll see some more activity probably next week. The activity is in the studio every day when we mix it up. And today it's uh, two independents and a Republican. Robert Hornack comes back for a second, uh, twice as nice. And uh, Robert, uh, I know you don't know much about meteorological, meteorological conditions or hurricanes, um, but this news just trickling out that uh, someone is saying that Donald Trump in a meeting uh, discussed the possibility of dropping a nuclear bomb into a hurricane to try to displace it or change its path. <laughs> and the left has uh, latched on to this to say he's, he's out of his mind again. Uh, is there anything he could say that they don't latch on to? Look, President Trump could offer a cure for cancer, and they would come up with some nefarious motives for him doing that. I mean, no matter what he says, no matter what he speculates, no matter what he teases with, they're going to go after him full force. And that's just the environment that we're in these days. And uh, I did a little homework on this. Uh, dating back, uh, Time did a, a great piece on this uh, where they talked about uh, how this has been talked about by presidents and administrations for like 60 years, going back to the late 50s, where they were talking about getting a submarine under the cone of a hurricane, firing an atomic bomb to displace the heat. So, Frankie, I mean, they want to call him crazy for everything, but he's not the first administration. Well, I thought this was a little odd, but the president himself did address this this morning. This is what he said in a tweet this morning. The story by Axios that President Trump wanted to blow up large hurricanes with nuclear weapons prior to reaching shore is ridiculous. I never said this, just more fake news. So I take the president at his word. I don't think he did say this. Uh, so I think it's a nonsensical story. I mean, it, you know, all you have to do, you could say that the president said anything and get get quoted as an anonymous source close to the White House or an anonymous source close to the National Security Council. So I, I take the president at his word. He is not somebody, as you saw with the Greenland situation, that runs away from scenarios just because they sound they sound crazy if he's thought of them. Right. So uh, why would he deny? asking the question. Yeah. It's not as if he said if he's what? they're saying he ordered nuclear weapons on Hurricane Irene. He's just saying they're just saying he asked the question, which there would be nothing wrong with. The president says he didn't do it. I take him at his word. Speaking In of spite bombing, of what Dante Nero said about his honesty. Speaking of bombing, um, one of the reasons uh, some in the media are saying that Joe Walsh is announcing his presidential bid is because his radio show is bombing. Um, so this is a way to breathe new life into it. Robert, uh, you're a Republican strategist. You're heavily involved, ground level. Uh, do we need Joe Walsh coming into this race? Is this even real? Isn't this the guy from the Eagles? Yeah. I, mean, uh, I, I, I never heard of this guy before. Yeah. Joe who? You know, look, he, he's going to – Frank hit it right on the, on the head earlier uh, when he talked about this. This guy is doing this for, to create his own brand, for his own publicity, much like 50% of the Democratic field that's running for president now as well. It's an opportunity for somebody to jump up and down and say, look at me, look at me. Speaking of that 50%, uh, Pete Buttigieg in the news uh, saying that we need to do even more than remove Trump. Take a look at this. Getting rid of the president is not enough. We need to replace this presidency with something better that actually works for Americans or somebody even more unstable could gain power and emerge in our politics in the future. Not just get rid of the president, get rid of the whole idea that he was president. And final thoughts on that. How do you do that? I mean, these guys are so out of their minds. <laughs> They've literally got nothing to offer to the American public. And all they can do is come up with these crazy scenarios about impeaching and now, I guess, disintegrating the president into nothingness. That's, that's their plan. This segment is going to disintegrate. I want to thank Robert Hornack for joining us. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Big sports news this week, and Andrew Luck retires. Our sports correspondent, Nico Romano, joins us right after this. You stay right there.